Hi, I'm Ken Krell. Speakers, authors, coaches, thought leaders come to me to discover how they can take their current position and turn it into high-powered, high-profit, transformational digital events. I can do the same for you too. You're about to watch an excerpt of one of our online events that I think you may find very powerful. After that, I'll meet you and we'll talk about it. And today is a very special day because I've got a good friend with me today. Her name is Tony Giddles and she helps caregivers regain their sanity and have a life while they help others have quality to their lives. And she does it in an amazing way. So Tony, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. Thanks. Thanks, Ken. It's great to be here. Well, I'm thrilled to have you with us again. And I'll tell you this, what you do is so important for the world. And I don't think people recognize just how many caregivers there are out there. So we want to give us just kind of a little bit of a background and what makes you the go-to gal for, for the caregiving community. Thanks for asking that. As far as my expertise, um, I really worked in healthcare for over 40 years. You may not be able to believe that, but I did a lot of teaching during that time as well. Uh, but most of all, what got me excited about what I'm doing now is I actually took care of my mother for 14 years. And it was kind of a shock to become her caregiver. And she did live to be 100, but I learned how difficult caregiving is and how unprepared even I was, even having been in healthcare. And I started to worry about all the other caregivers out there who were untrained to take care of a loved one. Um, and the learning curve is so steep, it causes so much frustration, anxiety, and stress. And we don't need any more stress in our lives, but it comes with the responsibility of taking care of a loved one. Yeah, no question. So tell me, with, with all the people that you've worked with, can you give me a little case study about how you've able to, been able to help someone get through that process? Well, usually people come in crisis. They find me in a crisis when they're in a crisis situation and really on the verge of tears because they haven't had anybody to talk to. So an example would be, um, I have an individual now who's actually traveling from another state to take care of her mom and dad. Mm. And her crisis was she knew that her dad needed more help than she could give, which meant considering an assisted living facility. Um, but she's in another state, she didn't know the resources and she wasn't absolutely sure that was the right thing. So there's so many decisions that caregivers have to make and they worry. They worry, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing enough? Have I researched it enough? And within um, a couple of weeks, she was able to make the decision. Actually on the call, I gave her a lot of guidance. And in a couple of weeks, she was able to make the decision where to move her father. And I actually talked to her yesterday. She's so much calmer now and relaxed, taking a little break herself. And then there will be another crisis. So we will be helping her through the journey. Well, that's pretty awesome. And you got to feel really proud of yourself for helping that whole family because it's not just her that you're helping. Right. It's really the ripple effect of that whole that whole community. So yeah. good, good for you for that. So let me ask you this because we're running out on time here. What one tip would you give us today that, that we could apply to our own situations? Well, I've, I've noticed, and this was my experience, I was an only child, but even people that have siblings, often they're not cooperative. So the person that's the primary caregiver really bears the burden. Mm. And they really feel they're the only one that can do this job properly. But if you think you're the only one, you're going to be very stressed out and it's going to cause health issues for you. So one of the things I help people do is really develop and identify people in their lives that can be a support to them. And then I have to teach them how to ask for help because we don't really know how to ask for help. And it can be embarrassing to ask for help, but yeah. it's a big step when they're able to do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that for sure. So Tony, we're out of time right now, but let me ask you this. How can people get a hold of you? Because I know that you, this is critical. They need, they need to get this, this information. Exactly. I would be glad to offer your audience um, my new book that's a digital download, and it's called The 21 Mistakes Caregivers Make and How to Avoid Them. And trust me, there's a lot of mistakes we make, and to get a heads up and to start planning is the best thing people can do right now. Well, that would be 
I didn't realize there was that many. Oh, good gosh. Um, yeah, let's <laughs> let, we'll put that in the show notes. You guys just That's go great. to releasefulshow.com. Let's get to the to the episode with Tony and and grab that. And Tony, will you okay with coming back? I want to hear more about how this can apply to all of us. Oh, I would love to come back. Thank you. There's so much to talk about. Awesome. Tony Giddles, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming. So that's one short taste of how you can use the power of digital events to help people transform their lives and find a new way to live. Want to learn how you can put it to use in your own business? Well, stick with me for the Digital Events Essentials Plan. It's called DEEP. It'll take you through how you can plan, produce, and profit from your own online events. It's pretty great. It's pretty free. And I think you'll like it pretty much. So come join me. Click the link either in the description below or somewhere on this video itself. And we'll take you over there. It's completely free. I think you're going to love it. And it will give you the plan you need to plan, produce, and profit from your own digital events.